गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आज हम स्टैंडर्ड फर्स्ट में मैथ सब्जेक्ट में स्टडी करने वाले हैं उसमें आज हम मैथ सब्जेक्ट में शेप्स एंड डिजाइन ओके शेप्स एंड डिजाइन लर्न करेंगे तो लेट्स अब स्टार्ट इंट्रोडक्शन For making the clapper, we need to do the following steps. You perform the following steps and try to make a clapper. Have fun with shapes. Color the plum following the directions given here. For the triangle, fill in the red color. Fill in the squares with the yellow color. Color the rectangles with the blue color, and color the circles with the green color. Come on, let's start. Hey, first start with triangles. Fill the red color. Also fill the yellow color in the squares. Fill in the rectangles with blue and color the circles with green. Wow! Wow! Our cloud has become so colorful. In the given figures, how many triangles are there? Let us take the first figure and see the number of triangles which can be formed. Observe and let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. So eight triangles. Now, can we make some more triangles? Yes. Why not? Combine one and two, so we get a new triangle. Similarly, combining two and three, three and four, and four and one. We get three new triangles. Therefore, eight plus four is equal to twelve. So, total twelve new triangles are formed. In the second figure, we can see eight triangles. But can you find some other triangle? Observe carefully. We can find other triangles too, apart from these eight triangles. We have bigger triangles: nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and the fifteenth triangle is also formed. There are no other triangles which can be formed. So, total fifteen new triangles are formed. In the third triangle, we can see nine triangles, and the other big triangle is formed by combining four small triangles. So, total thirteen triangles are formed. From the given figures, find the biggest rectangle. For your understanding. There is a rectangle shown in red-colored border. 
find the rectangles from other figures. In this figure, we can show rectangle like this and in the other figures like this. edges and corners. Mita and her five friends were playing a game. Tinku was blindfolded and asked to keep clapping as long as he wished while the others would move round the table. The moment Tinku stopped clapping, everybody would stop wherever they were. The child who was not at a corner would be out. Then he or she would be blindfolded. Looking at the picture given here, can you tell who is out? Yes. Looking at the picture given here, we can say that Gundu is out. Where is Gundu standing? Gundu is standing along the edge of the table. Can this game be played around a round table? Why? This game cannot be played around a round table because in a round table there are no corners. No. Look around you and identify the things with straight and curved edges. Straight edges. Example, book, chair, kite, etc. Curved edges. Example, wheel, plate, etc. Look around you and identify the things with straight and curved edges. Photo frame, door, window, table, blackboard, TV etc. have straight edges. Ball, apple, lemon, coin, volleyball, orange, round table, do the things with straight edges have corners? Yes. Things with straight edges have corners. Do the things with curved edges have corners? No. Things with curved edges do not have corners. Try to find things which have both straight and curved edges. Bread, violin, car, screwdriver have straight as well as curved edges. One, take a rectangular sheet of paper. 2. Count its corners. 3. Now fold one of its corners. A. How many corners does it have now? B. How many corners will you get by folding? 1. 2 corners. 2. 3 corners. 3. 4 corners. C. Can you fold this paper in such a way that it has only three corners? You are allowed only two folds. What shape will you get? Four. Repeat the activity with a square sheet of paper. Five. Can you fold all the corners of the square sheet in such a way 
that the number of callers remains unchanged. Look at the following table and tick mark the names of things that have corners. Also count the number of edges and corners in each of them. The first thing is die. Yes, a die has corners. It has 12 edges and 8 corners. A ball doesn't have any corner. So there are no corners and edges. Eraser has corners. It has 12 edges and 8 corners. Egg is oval. So it has no corners. So there are no corners and edges. A sheet of paper has corners. It has four edges and four corners. In the given figures, tick mark those figures which have corners. Do these figures have curved lines? In these given figures, these figures have corners. These figures have curved lines. Using only straight lines, can you draw a figure which has no corners? No. Using only straight lines, you cannot draw a figure which has no corners. Tengram. The Tengram is an old Chinese puzzle. From the pieces of the Tengram, we can make many shapes of animals, people and things. At the back of the book, you will find a square like the one in this figure. Cut it out carefully and cut the pieces. This set of five pieces is called the five piece tangram. Use these five pieces to make the different figures. One, how many triangles do you have in your set? Are all of them equal in size? Find out. In the set, there are three triangles, and no, they are not equal in sizes. Two. Use the two small triangles in the tangram set to get the following shapes. Using the two smaller triangles, like number two and number five, the required shapes can be made. Three. Which two pieces of the tangram set are exactly the same? Find out. The pieces number two and number five of the tangram set are exactly the same. Four. Take pieces four and five from the set and find out on which side of the triangle you can join the other piece. Pieces 4 and 5 from the set are taken out and can be joined in this manner. Five. Find matching sides among the following pairs of pieces. A. Pieces 1 and 2. The longest side of piece 2 and the small side of piece 1 are matching. 
B. Pieces 2 and 4. The small side of piece 2 is matching with the small side of piece 4. And the longer side of piece 2 is matching with the longer side of piece 4. C. Pieces 1 and 5. The small side of piece 1 is matching with the longest side of piece 5. D. Pieces 2 and 5. The longest side of piece 2 matches with the longest side of piece 5. And the small side of piece 2 is matching with the small side of piece 5. The seven piece tangram. Here is the picture of a seven piece tangram. You can cut out these pieces and put them together in different ways to make some very interesting shapes. Try making these shapes. Now, try making the following shapes using only the pieces mentioned here. 1. Use only triangles to make this shape. 2. Use pieces 1, 2, 3 and 5 to make this shape. 3. Use only two triangles to make a square. 4. Use pieces 1, 2, 3 4 and 5 to make a square. Weaving patterns. Ankit and Son went to the market with their aunt. They saw many rugs or dummies. Wow! So many colors! So many shapes! Circles, triangles. See the patterns. Which geometrical shapes can you identify in these borders? Draw them in your notebook. In these borders, we can see circles, triangles, and hexagon. Is any shape repeated in a particular pattern? Which ones? Yes, in many borders, shapes are being repeated in a particular pattern. In this border, these shapes are being repeated in particular pattern. In the second border, these shapes or patterns are being repeated. In the third border, these shapes or patterns are being repeated. In the fourth border, these shapes or patterns are being repeated. What are these shapes made of? 1. Curved lines 2. Straight lines 3. Both curved and straight lines Look at your clothes, your mother's saris, shawls, rugs and mats. Can you identify some patterns? Draw them in your notebook. Flow Patterns Have you ever seen a flow which has designs? Do you know how these designs are made? 
These designs are made by covering the floor completely with small tiles that fit into each other without any gaps. For example, look at the shape of this tile and see how it fits. Now look at this tile with six sides. See how the tiles of this shape can cover the floor completely without any gaps. 1. Among the following, can you match the tiles with the designs that they will make on the floor? Draw lines to match. Observe carefully. The first pattern matches with this hexagon. The second pattern is made up of squares and it is divided into triangles. So, join this with this square. The third pattern is made up of triangles and join this here. The fourth pattern is made up of squares but it has triangles. So, this pattern has to join here. You can also make your own tiles and use them to make your own tiling patterns. You will find some such tiles at the end of the book that you can cut out, trace and color. Complete the following tiling pattern. This tiling pattern can be completed in the following manner. In the rectangles, draw triangles like this. After that, fill colors in. Complete this pattern. Compare it with the pattern which also uses six-sided shapes. What is the difference between the two? In this pattern, we can see hexagon attached to each other along the edges. And in the other pattern, we can see triangles between two adjacent hexagons. Four. Khushbu and Rahim live in Agra. One day, they went to see the Taj Mahal. The floor had the pattern shown below. Khushbu says, I can see two different tiles in this pattern. Rahim says, I think only one type of tile has been used. Yes. Only one type of tile has been used. Only they have been joined in different manner. Tiling tile. The patterns here are made from these tiles. In this pattern, three colors have been used to make it look like steps. By using two colors, it becomes a different pattern of blue and yellow flowers. Use different color combinations to make your own patterns. Have you seen this shape in any other design? On a wall, a dress, on a basket, a mat, etc.
Treasure hunt. Frank and Judy's mummy has given a surprise gift for both of them. But she wants them to find out through a treasure hunt. She has written some instructions here. Can you help Judy and Frank in finding their gift? A. Start from the tallest tree. B. Go forward on the pathway. C. From the sixth turn, turn left. D. After moving a few steps again, you will find a plant on your right hand side. E. Color the dress of the child playing closest to this plant. F. Start moving again from the plant. G. On the fourth turn, turn left again. H. On the way, you will find the corner of the fourth tie is broken. I. You will find a bat and a ball lying on the ground. Don't pick them up. Just circle them. J. Move ahead and turn right. K. You will find a mango tree. A few mangoes can be seen on the tree. Color 11 mangoes on the tree. L. Also draw some grass near the mango tree and start moving again on the pathway. M. When you go straight, you will find a house. M. Behind that house, there is a bag. Open it and you will find something sweet in it. Can you tell what their mother has kept in the bag?